How's it going everybody? Welcome back. So today I wanted to show you guys a little bit of a tutorial on GetResponse just to kind of show you around the interface or the dashboard. And of course, if you guys would like to get your hands on GetResponse and um, you know try it out for yourself, you'll find a free trial link. It's a 30 day free trial, um, no credit card required. So you're able to just try out the service for 30 days before you can actually get yourself a plan. Okay, so let's get started here. Once you log into the get response dashboard, this is how it's going to look like. You've got your tools here. So of course, with get response, if you didn't know, it's basically an integrated online marketing platform that is tailored for small to medium sized businesses or even online marketers, uh, e-commerce stores, um, educators, bloggers, and agencies. It basically offers this whole set of tools, including email marketing, landing page creation, uh, marketing automation, webinars, e-commerce integration, and basic customer relation management. Uh, whether you're aiming to grow an email list, automate marketing campaigns, uh, if you want to host an online event or a course or sell products, GetResponse can do a lot of that stuff. So just for the sake of the example, let's go with the landing page. Um, let's just create a landing page. And one thing I do want to highlight, and obviously GetResponse is super easy to use already, but what makes it even easier to use is the AI integration, which is something that I really like because it saves me a lot of time. So let's just create the landing page and you can either use a template or an AI powered builder. So for the sake of just showing how easy it is to use the AI, obviously I think you already know um, how the template stuff works here. It's very similar to WordPress or any other website builder that we've used, but it's just for landing pages. This is only for landing pages. Um, so yeah, you can just choose any of these preview them if you'd like, see if you like this one, for example, and just go ahead and use this template and just change up the text and whatever it is that you need to change up, maybe the call to action, the number, the text, the images, everything. Um, now, this is pretty cool, but I do want to use the AI powered one just to kind of showcase it. So let's go ahead and do that. So in what field do you work in health coaching? Let's just go with other. Okay, maybe maybe it's um, not available, right? Let's just go with other. Um, and let's say my product is a powerful uh, state of the art gaming keyboard. Let's just go with that one actually. So next step. So video sign up form, contact form, chat. Um, maybe it could be a contact form. And here I'm just gonna select gallery and list. So perhaps a picture of the keyboard with the list of features. So let's just go ahead and click the next step and see what happens. Add some colors. We'll just go with something like this. And if you have a logo, you can go ahead and upload it here. Let's just go ahead and go to the next step. And here you can add the details to your company. I'm just gonna skip that for now and we'll just wait here. And now that it's done, as you can tell, it's created these three designs. So this is already pretty cool. And as you can tell, I picked something that wasn't necessarily available in the get response category list. And I just told the AI that it's a gaming keyboard and it got the whole gaming aesthetic down. Now, of course, it can be a little bit better, which is why we can just, you know, let's just say use this design. And now that I'm in here, I can change blocks, I can replace them, I can just do all kinds of things that would make it a little bit more unique. I could change the images. So all I need to do is just hover over here, click on it, and here I can just change everything and whether or not you want it to link to something and so on and so forth. So again, it's as simple as just going through the whole thing, clicking on all the blocks. You can delete certain blocks. You can change the text by just double clicking on a certain block and just saying, let's say for more info instead of the other text that was here. And yeah, generally speaking, you can tell that the whole setup is ready for you to use. And I personally really like this one. You could just put your logo here and customize it the way you want to based on your product and your branding. And it's as simple as that to use. So look at that. It even gave me a list of features here. Lightning fast response time, ergonomic design for comfort, customizable RGB light. This is so cool already. It even took some features from what, you know, gaming keyboards would have and uh, it put it in here. 
So once you're done, you can just go ahead and preview. And there's the desktop preview as well as the mobile preview. You want to make sure it's good for your mobile. So as you can tell here, there's a little bit of work to do. Um, and if we go all the way down, okay, so it seems like there's a white block here that is, um, yeah, just making it look a little worse than it should. And for the rest, yeah, it seems to look just fine. So this is where, you know, you can go back to the editing. And so this is where we have to kind of fix it. So it seems like this white block around the image is making it worse. Okay, so what I did here to fix the view on mobile, um, all I did was just hide these images on mobile. So I went here, just, just clicked on the image and just hit it on the mobile device because when you show it, it kind of just, um, yeah, it seems to be in a little bit of a weird position. It's just, I don't like the white blocks here. Um, and so, you know, you can always experiment with the templates and experiment with the AI and just give it another run and see what you get because the AI is oftentimes very randomized, but it's still a very powerful tool that you can use to save a lot of time. So I'm just going to go ahead and click off the preview, click here, hide on mobile devices. And so, you know, now if we go ahead and preview, this is what it looks like on the desktop. And this is what it looks like on the mobile device, as you can tell. Now it looks better without the white blocks or images. Now, of course, I would probably want to just delete all these blocks, all the image blocks uh, for the mobile and just kind of try to put a little background behind it. But just for the sake of time, we're just going to cut it here. And hopefully you guys have an idea. Now that I'm done, I can just hit continue and move on to the next step. This is how easy it is to create a landing page with GetResponse. And once you're here and you're done with these settings, just hit continue. From here, you wanna name your landing page, either buy a new domain or connect a domain that you already own. And that is basically it. You can go ahead and publish it. It's as simple as that. So within a few minutes, you can actually just create your landing page. Granted, you have the assets, you have your images, you have you know your branding, your logo and the text and what kind of text you want to have on your landing page. And effectively, if you have all of these ready, you can literally create it within a few minutes and you can go ahead and try it out yourself. I'll leave the link again to the free trial in the description down below as well as a review if you'd like to learn a little bit more about it besides that i hope you guys enjoyed the video comment below if you have any questions i'll be happy to answer all of them like and subscribe if you want to support the channel thank you guys very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one have a wonderful day